As we saw in the previous video, the Cisco Web Security Appliance can authenticate proxy users actively against LDAP or Active Directory servers. The WSA can also passively identify proxy users without direct communication to a directory server. This is accomplished using the Cisco Identity Services Engine, or ICE. ICE is a powerful center for all things authentication. It is capable of enforcing network access using 802.1x, RADIUS, or web authentication. ICE uses any or all of these mechanisms to build a database of user sessions, which contains information such as username, IP address, MAC address, security group tag, and more. ICE then makes this database available using an API called the Platform Exchange Grid, or PixGrid. The WSA can connect to ICE via PixGrid and subscribe to user authentication sessions. This allows the WSA to obtain user to IP mappings and security group tags for all known network users. In the latest versions, the WSA can also connect to the external RESTful service, or ERS, and obtain user group information without ever contacting the directory server. In order to configure an ICE connection, certificates must be generated and installed on both ICE and the WSA. PixGrid is accessible over a mutually authenticated TLS connection, meaning that certificates must be used to authenticate both the client and server side. This requires specially designed certificate templates when using Active Directory integrated certificate authorities. Details on how to integrate the solutions, including how to configure an Active Directory Certificate Authority and issue the certificates, are available in the description of this video. When a user logs onto the network, they are authenticated to ICE using one of any number of methods which are independent of the WSA. They may be authenticated using a switch which is capable of 802.1x, MAC authentication bypass, or even web authentication redirect. Once this happens, the session is created in the ICE database. The WSA connection to PixGrid is always on, and the user, IP, and SGT information is populated in the WSA ICE data store. When the client sends its first web request through the WSA, they are easily identified without the need for active authentication. ICE can also identify users without requiring active authentication. Available in every ICE installation is the passive identity feature. Instead of relying on 802.1x or web authentication, this feature can connect to Active Directory using the Windows Management Instrumentation interface and subscribe to specific events in the Windows Security Event Log. Passive ID can also consume syslog messages to identify user login events. When a user logs into their domain computer, an event is generated which triggers ICE to create a user session. This session is also available to the WSA over PixGrid. Passive Identity is available in the full ICE installation, but is also available as a standalone virtual appliance known as ICE PIC, the Identity Services Passive Identity Connector. This is a stripped down version of ICE without support for features like profiling, security group tags, or 802.1x. It operates the same way as the passive identity feature in the full ICE product. IcePIC is positioned as the successor to the Context Delivery Agent, or CDA. CDA also subscribe to the Windows Event Log to learn about user to IP mappings, but does not provide as many features as IcePIC, such as ERS for group information, active endpoint probes, and syslog providers. The configuration on the WSA is the same for IcePIC as it is for ICE, but an additional guide is also linked in the video description which provides all of the steps for integration including IcePIC configuration. Once ICE or IcePIC is integrated with the WSA, user and group information can be used in various policy constructs in the WSA. In the identity profile, the WSA can attempt to identify a user transparently with ICE, and if no information is available, fall back to active authentication. This removes load from the WSA authentication services. The information retrieved by the WSA from ICE can be used in decryption policies and in access policies. If ICE PIC is used, the available criteria are username and group membership. While the security group tag option is present, note that ICE PIC does not support them. If ICE is used, the available criteria are security group tag, username, and group membership. 
In 11.7, only the information learned from ICE is available in an individual policy. But beginning in 11.8, both AD and ICE information can be used in an individual policy. This allows for the use of fallback when user and group information is not available in ICE and active authentication using a directory server is used instead.